Welcome to Journeys, a Quaker Fuel Supplier feature where we sit down with Chicago Fire players to learn more about their path here to Toyota Park. In this edition, we sit down with Chicago Fire midfielder Patrick Niako to learn more about his journey. Check it out next on Chicago-Fire.com. I think in the in the middle of my in the middle of my second year, um, you know, I'd come here with a clear mind. I was going to get my education because my dad wouldn't have allowed me to come over here if. I did not assure him I was going to get my education. Going through the whole process of getting to Virginia Tech, um, I had to take the SAT. I, I'm not, maybe if I had done my research and all that stuff, I would be better prepared. I didn't know what an SAT was until, you know, I met Oliver and them. You know, going through the whole class, like taking tutorials and everything, um, having to move from my family to live with friends for, for a few months, you know, was, um, I, I'd not done that before, either than going to boarding school, which was 10 minutes away from my house. So it was, it was, it was quite an adjustment. And, um, you know, getting that, trying to go for a visa, you know, making sure all your documents are right and in order not to blow this chance, this opportunity that doesn't come around very often. So, and before I got my visa, you know, I had to enroll in school in Ghana because if I don't get my visa and I don't enroll, I miss my chance of going to school too. So everything was, it was just very stressful. And then you get your visa, you're going to a totally different country. I think it would have been a lot difficult if I had thought more about it, but I had came with an open mind. I didn't know how big the United States was. I didn't know where Virginia was. I didn't know where Blacksburg is. So it was, I came with an open mind and I think that's what helped me. It hasn't been bad. It's great. I have my degree. I'm playing at a, at a high level um, in the United States. I've come across few challenges than anyone would have thought, I would have thought. And, um, you know, I, I really thank the people I met along the way. I think I got real lucky to meet some great people along the way and they guided me towards the, the right path. Oh,